do you think that that alignment needs to flow through the team as well on the back of that? So you've kind of got that product and customer alignment, but then to have alignment between sales and market and the relevant stakeholders within the business, is that something that you see produces a lot of external problems that the business themselves struggle to articulate or understand that is even there? When that occurs, and it occurs very, very often, it's because they miss that fundamental element that I just referred to. And if the alignment is there on the, on the brand side and the messaging, the voice, everything is in sync, and that work has been done, then it's easy enough to get it across your internal and external teams because messaging is strong, it's focused, it's direct, it's differentiated, and it's connected. So when you have those elements, then that alignment will exist naturally. When you don't have that alignment, which is 90% of the brands, then you have miscommunication. It doesn't translate through the food chain. And ultimately, people are just making up stuff about what the messaging should be instead of being super clear and to the point. So then I guess to translate that to small to medium businesses. So what we're seeing here is that the actually the fundamentals that you're often called into fix need to be in place a lot sooner than um, in place at all, even in some businesses, right? Very and much. I know from, from a small business owner perspective, brand is something that you kind of, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow when we've got revenue. We need to build some revenue first before we can get on with the brand. And they might be short of resources or capital in order to pay somebody who's worth paying to do the brand because there's brand marketers and there are brand marketers. And we know that there's two different, very different camps in the world. 